Hey everyone, this is Kane317, I'm the administrator of Dream Cancel. Joined with me today is, of course, James Chen. And James, would you just briefly tell the viewers who's been hiding underneath the rock who you are? <laughs> um, I've been playing fighting games for a long time. I'm, I've been, I used to write like FAQs and stuff like okay. that for fighting games, and so I... I'm a passionate follower of fighting game system mechanics. <laughs> I definitely probably read one of your FAQs in the past, <laughs> so we appreciate your contribution. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me, because I play a lot of King of Fighters, and that's really the only right. fighting game I play, uh, you know, what are the hardest transitions into the King of Fighters series? And uh, one thing I would say, the first thing that comes to my mind is the four different types of jumps they have in the game. The normal jump, hyper jump, you got your hop, or people call it short hop, and finally you got your hyper hop. Do you feel like in the normal flow of a match you use them almost all equally the um, same amount? Pretty much. You, you definitely want to be using at least three out of the four quite often. Okay. And it okay. really incorporates to the very offensive momentum based uh, game the King of Fighters is. And another thing uh, that's very uh, different from most games is you actually have a run or a dash. And this is actually a full screen run that you can hold as long as you want. Oh, gotcha. So there's no like fixed distance. You can cancel into attacks and such, right? Yeah, you can basically okay. can cancel your, your run. Uh, there's a small window where you have to stop for a second, but you basically can cancel into okay. moves. Okay, gotcha. Um, oh, and actually, what about backdash? There's backdashes. There, there is a backdash, and that is a set amount. That is like a okay. back step kind okay. of. Is there any invincibility on the backdash? In new to King of Fire 13, the console, there's no invincibility, but within one frame, it puts you in the aerial state gotcha. very quickly. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Another thing that, that's kind of interesting and it's hard for people to kind of adjust to is basically uh, there are roles in the game. Right. And uh, rolling in the game allows you to do exactly what it says. It rolls past the opponent, mm -hmm. which gives you a lot of different options. However, you don't want to rely too much on them because during the roll, you can be completely thrown mm -hmm. any, at any given time. And at the end of the roll, you're completely vulnerable. Okay. Next section we really have that really boggles a lot of people's mind is the ability to combo command throws in the game. Okay? Now okay. command throw is just like any other special except it's throw based. It's throw, right? It's like a Zangief spinning pile driver. Right, right. right. Except okay. you can actually combo into the spinning pile driver. Okay. And uh, in this one, you know, if you as long as you have a normal attack that cancels, you can combo into a command throw. The only other exception is if they're blocking, if the opponent's in the block stun, okay. your command throw will whiff. Okay. okay, so if they're just sitting there, mm -hmm. you'll throw them with the command throw. Right. If you cancel a move into it and they're in hit stun, you'll grab them. Right. So in other words, the only way that you can avoid it is, you know, don't be on the ground right. or be in block stun, right? Yeah, it's okay. basically, you basically want to always hop uh, <laughs> okay. at the appropriate times. But yeah, you definitely don't want to be on the ground against okay. the grappler. Uh, you have something called the hyperdrive gauge in King Fighters 13, and this is unique to 13. The 13 is actually two types of gauges. You have your power gauge and your hyperdrive gauge. And the hyperdrive one's the green one on the top that has like the two chunks, right? It's the green one on the top that has two chunks. It's divided into two different, uh, basically 50% uh, will complete your drive gauge or your hyperdrive gauge. And that's actually the next point. You can use the gauge for drive cancels, super cancels, neo maxes, and hyperdrive mode. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, and it sounds complicated, but it's really not that complicated. The drive cancel is simply when you complete 50% of that top green gauge, mm -hmm. you can cancel certain special moves into other special moves. Okay. Right? And then there's a specific window for your special move where you're allowed to drive cancel. But as long as you can cancel it, the next move will come out. Now, is it is it any special move into any special move, pretty much? Like, you could cancel, for example, a, a burn knuckle into a fireball, or a burn knuckle into a crack shoot, for example, with Terry? That's correct. It will cancel no matter what, but whether or not it will actually combo depends on the special move itself. Oh, right, of right, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, if a move, like, takes you up into the air, can you cancel into, like, an air special move? That's right. You can cancel the special moves into the air. And there is a special exception. You can't drive cancel a special move if the opponent's blocking Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. So in so, other words, you can't like turn an uppercut into a safe right, a uppercut, safe uppercut right. by throwing an air fireball down or right, something like right, that. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. There is there is a they, they they do that to prevent uh, certain abusive uh, loops. The next thing is a super cancel. So uh, basically, it's the same thing as a drive cancel, but you're canceling a special move into a super or oh, what wow. we call a desperation move. Okay. And the only special, the only thing different about this case is you can always cancel a special. Even on block? Uh, uh, no. Even on block. You can always super cancel. What's the what's the requirement for that? You use one drive cancel for the actual super cancel, and you also use a stock for the actual super itself. Oh wow, so in other words, 
It costs the same to cancel. The only additional cost is the actual power gauge. Okay. The another one you can use your hyperdrive gauge is for Neomaxes. It's your ultimate super. This is like the ultra combo for uh, right. Street Fighter or like level 3 hypers in Marvel, right? <laughs> right, right, right. It it's basically requires three supers mm -hmm. and the entire hyperdrive gauge. So it requires both halves of the hyperdrive gauge. That's then. right. Okay, okay. Both halves of the hyperdrive gauge, the full meter, plus the three supers, and deservingly so because it does the most damage possible. Gotcha. So uh, it's actually pretty rare for those situations to come up to have that much yeah, <laughs> in the yeah, tank, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most of the time, you would actually save that up for a hyperdrive mode itself. Uh -huh. And basically what hyperdrive mode is, is when you activate this special condition by pushing light kick and hard punch, and your gauge, your hyperdrive gauge on the top, starts completing. Now during this session, you can cancel as many drive cancels as possible. Oh wow, so and you get access to infinite drive cancels. Drive. Okay. To, as long as you have gauge remaining. So it, it depletes normally, and for each drive cancel, it'll deplete an additional 10% oh, wow. of the gauge okay. itself. Okay. Now, is there any other benefits you get outside of the infinite drive cancels? Other than that, the only other thing that's really good about hyperdrive mode is when you do your Neo Max, it now only requires two stocks oh, wow. instead okay. of three. Okay. So it's almost kind of like a, a custom combo in a way, right? Yeah, it, it's basically like a custom combo from, from the old yeah, yeah, like the alpha games and stuff. Yeah, okay, okay, cool. Now, one last thing you want to kind of highlight, during hyperdrive mode, when you drive cancel, you can even do it if they're blocking. Let's say you start a hyperdrive combo and, they, mm -hmm. and, and they're blocking the whole time, you can cancel each move to kind of make it safer for yourself. Can you super cancel during this mode as well? And you can still super cancel. Super cancel is just like a drive cancel in hyperdrive. And will it end it though? It will not end it. The only thing that will end it if you do a Neo Max. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. okay. And if you do a super cancel, does that also only take the 10%? It does take 10%. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> that sounds really powerful. <laughs> it, it's good. It's definitely good, but you don't get additional damage. Uh, you don't, it's just the same thing, you don't like juggle higher, it's okay, just the gotcha. ability to cancel more and right, do right. a meal max basically gotcha. at a cheaper cost. Uh, another use of the power gauge are EX moves. And I'm sure you're familiar with these moves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot Definitely. of the games have them. Uh, it is new to the King of Fire series, but basically it just enhances the properties of a special. Think of it like it's doing a super almost, because you basically use a super, you use a, one of your stocks. So it costs the whole stock. It does oh, cost okay. the whole stock. Gives you more options. Uh, like you know, more damage. You may juggle your opponent in, in, a, in a different manner. You got more invincibility. Maybe it's faster. Maybe your move is safer. So it really gotcha, adds gotcha. a lot of variety to the to the stock meter. And actually, it makes it so that you have to really uh, have good meter management in this game. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. But speaking of meter management, while you're in a defensive situation, very true to the King of Fire series, you can guard cancel roll or guard cancel blowback. So when you're blocking, you can blow one meter, and you can either just roll out of the situation. And the difference between a guard cancel roll from a normal roll is it gives you complete invincibility to the enemy. Really? You can't be thrown out of this at all? You cannot be thrown. You can't be hit, you cannot <laughs> be thrown, and if you do it correctly at the right time, you can even punish your opponent while they're still in their, their animation or whatever they're doing. Is there still like delay at the end? Can you punish it at the end? No, you cannot be punished at the end. You're, wow. You're fully invincible. Wow, okay. Yeah, so it's a good. Let's say, let's say they do an uppercut, you, you block the uppercut, you, you guard counter roll, boom, full punish. Wow, you know? okay, okay. Gotcha. Um, the other one is guard counter blowback, which is basically pushing a hard punch, hard kick at the same time when you're blocking, and all it does is does a knock away. It just knocks the opponent really far away, okay. does very little damage. So it's just like an alpha counter then, right? It's, it's just like an alpha counter, exactly. Okay, okay. Uh, one of the things that's part of the combo system in King of Fighters is the command moves. Each command move does different things. For example, you might have command moves that does overheads. It's like the unique moves in Street Fighter 4, that's what they call them in there, which is like a direction on the joystick plus a button. That's exactly what it is. You push a okay. direction and uh, you push a normal direction and a hard punch or weak kick, depending mm -hmm. on which one it is. But it'll do an overhead such as Kyo, you can do it the forward and light kick and you'll do the overhead. Uh, you have someone like King, you can do a slide, oh, which is gotcha. basically command, gotcha. another command move. Uh, but Basically, what these command moves allow you to do is to, it's, it's like your regular flow chart in the King of Fire system. You do a normal attack, you do a command move, and it links into a special move. It's the bridge between a special move and a normal move. Gotcha. Uh, there is one extra exception. 
your overheads that normally are overheads, mm -hmm. if you cancel into it, so let's say you have a strong punch into overhead, wow. it's no longer an overhead. Oh wow! But what okay. allows you to do is to combo afterwards. Right. So. What about like low attacks if you chain into slides and stuff? They're still low. They're still low actually. Okay, okay. Yeah. So gotcha. it's only overhead. <laughs> it's only gotcha. overhead that loses that property. Okay. Your health gauge in King of Fighters is uniform all across the board. Everyone has the exact same amount Really? Of okay. So like Yuri and Raiden <laughs> can take just as much punish as each other? They can take as much damage. It's the same thing. For some reason, wow, they're, okay. they're, they're half the size, but she, she has the same amount of health. <laughs> nice. Uh, there's actually also no difference of damage. If you do 500 hit points, you can do 500 hit points to Yuri. You can do 500 hit points to Raiden. Okay. It doesn't gotcha. make a difference. Gotcha. Uh, another thing is even when you're low on health, it's still going to do the same amount of damage. Like, if you're going to do 300 damage, oh, it's going to do 300 right, right. damage. Okay, gotcha. It doesn't scale depending on your health. Right, so no matter where you are in your health meter, you're going to lose the same amount of life. Exactly, okay. exactly. Okay. And one more thing to, to pay attention to is, because King of Fighters, of course, is a 3 versus 3 game, and, you know, you do one-on-one, -on -one, but you're, once your character is defeated, your next character comes along. Right. Mm -hmm. So, one of the incentives to play and beat your opponent very quickly is, depending on how much time you have remaining, is how much health you get back. So you want to beat your bonus as quick as So possible. in other words, the more time you have, the more health you gain back. That's correct. Gotcha. That's correct. Okay. Okay. One of the options you can do also is called the Fall Breaker. And basically any time you're launching the air, whether you're swept or whether you're knocked mm -hmm. in the air, you can always push Light Punch and Light Kick and you'll flip right back up. Gotcha. So like if there's a move that knocks you onto your back, you can always do one of these moves, right? And That's correct. Okay, okay. Although there is actually a certain situation that certain move will, will actually activate a hard knockdown when you cannot actually do the fall okay. breaker, such as K-Dash's follow-up to his hard version crowbar, his hard version uppercut. Okay. There's a follow-up which knocks him straight down, and you cannot do a fall breaker. Gotcha, gotcha. So, I mean, it's just very similar to the like the quick rises and the safe yeah, falls exactly. from the other fighting games, right? Right, it's, it's very similar. The only difference is there's no variation when you can do it. You can, there's only one specific moment when you can do it. And